Hi, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be talking about this while making this. Enjoy. So for the past month, I've been taking this class called Art Licensing for Letterers, and it's taught by these two lovely ladies named Katie and Alana, who are artists and also really savvy business people. And in the class, they're basically just sharing all of their insider knowledge about the licensing industry and how you can monetize your licensing portfolio. And today I just wanted to share some of the stuff I learned from the class and also talk a little bit about the licensing industry as an option for people who aren't currently monetizing their artwork. During in the video I'm also actually creating a piece for my portfolio using one of their portfolio builder prompts so I hope this is helpful for you guys and yeah enjoy the video The world of licensing was so mysterious to me, and as an artist, I really want to explore all different types of revenue streams for my artwork. First, let's cover the ownership aspect of artwork and why you can sell your artwork to companies. Once you create something, you own that piece of artwork. Therefore, you have the right to sell it to whomever you choose, and licensing is one way of selling your artwork. I like to think of licensing as renting out your artwork to companies and you're giving them permission to essentially use it in any of the different ways that you decide is appropriate. An art licensing portfolio is not like a generic portfolio. It's actually something that is curated specifically for the use to be printed on products such as clothing, stationery, gift wrap, all of that stuff. The piece that I'm creating in this video is actually inspired by their portfolio builder, which you get when you sign up for the art licensing class, where they give you examples of common phrases and color palettes and subject matter that you can bring into your portfolio pieces that is actually geared towards being printed on greeting cards, being printed on gift wrap, stuff like that. Because that's one of the challenges for me whenever I'm trying to start a piece from scratch is having basically the equivalent of an assignment process prompt, like when you are trying to write a college essay, generally you have a list of requirements, you know, how many words it needs to be, you know, what the subject matter is going to be. This is essentially the same thing. Let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of art licensing as a revenue stream for artists. One good thing about art licensing is it will eventually become a form of passive income. On the flip side, the disadvantage of that is it actually takes a very long time before you start to reap the rewards financially. This is because the process of licensing your artwork is not like a traditional freelance project in that you are creating a piece based on a prompt that a company gives you. You are actually allowing a company to cherry pick and choose from a portfolio that you have already created. That means you have to put the work in up front to creating an entire body of work that clients can then browse through and choose from. And you're not going to start receiving royalties on a product until it actually hits the shelves, which could be an entire season or even an entire calendar year after your artwork is selected for that product. All things be considered, I think this makes art licensing a really good secondary or tertiary revenue stream for a freelance artist who has already created a large body of work. If you are someone who has a nine to five job in a different industry and you really want to explore your artistic side, it could be really interesting to take the time during your free time to develop a portfolio and then see where it goes. Selling, 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 selling. How do you actually sell your artwork once you have a portfolio? If you are thinking, Lauren, I am not business savvy whatsoever. I don't know who I need to be reaching out to. I don't know what to say or how to approach people about how to sell your artwork. There are actually agents who will represent you. If you have a lot of free time and you love communicating with big companies and selling yourself, then you can totally do this DIY style. One thing you wanna make sure is that you have 
have a website where you have a large portfolio of your artwork that is available to be licensed and it, that it's easy to navigate because the people you're going to be coming in contact with are going to need a landing page where they can go and actually view your artwork. Now, as we move into the next step, which would be you already have your portfolio curated, you already have a website where it's hosted, and you've already decided whether or not you wanna have an agent or if you want to do outreach DIY style. Number four is you need to become informed of the legal aspects of licensing agreements. I know, terrifying. I have actually recently become very friendly with contracts. Over the last year or so, I've had to educate myself on how to protect myself as an individual, as an artist. You do not wanna get taken advantage of by a large corporation. You need to understand your rights when it comes to giving people permission to use your artwork. Remember, you are in full control of what permission you would like to give to these bigger companies. I recommend taking this class because it was really, really helpful to have each part of a art licensing contract breaking down. You basically have a lot of decisions that you need to make. How long is your artwork going to be licensed? for use on what products, what quantity is going to be printed. What are the terms of you being able to license that artwork to a different company or a different industry? Let's talk about some of the supplies that you can utilize in order to build up your art licensing portfolio. Let's just throw in a huge old disclaimer that says, you do not need super fancy tools and technology in order to create an art licensing portfolio. I personally start all of my digital pieces using my iPad Pro, but that's a pretty hefty investment for someone to make if you're not already receiving an income for your art. I will go ahead and show on this screen all of the different apps and tools and technologies that I use to create my artwork. But just bear in mind that you can do it your own way and there are even benefits to being different. If you don't wanna buy an iPad, an Apple Pencil, an expensive laptop, Adobe software, Procreate, a scanner, there are still ways to create a portfolio. If you wanna be really scrappy, you can create your artwork with pen and paper the old fashioned way and you can take a picture of it using your iPhone and you can edit it using the free version of Lightroom. If you do eventually decide to license that piece of artwork, you will want to invest in an Adobe software subscription so that way you can use Photoshop on your computer because eventually you will need to vectorize your artwork and present it in certain formats. But seriously, like, if you are just starting to build your portfolio or you're still trying to figure out where your style even fits into this sort of an industry, then do not feel like you have to go out and purchase all of these specific products that you see other people using. It does not in any way make up for actually having talent. All right, before we wrap this baby up in a bow, I have some parting thoughts. <laughs> Do not try to make your artwork look the same as everyone else's that you see. There is absolutely no benefit to having more of the same repetitive art style that we see every day. Your value comes in what you can uniquely bring to the table that no one else currently is. So give some thought to what exactly you can sprinkle into the mix that isn't really being done yet. Lastly, please, please, please have fun with this. Let this be a source of joy for you. Let this be a fun side hustle. A big thank you to Katie and Alana for letting me take this awesome class. As someone who feels very confident in the way that they're monetizing their artwork, I still gained a ton from it. You will always be able to grab bits and pieces of information that you hadn't been exposed to yet. I will have all of the information you need to learn more about the class down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope that this was informational for you. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the piece I created for my art licensing portfolio during this video. In the coming weeks, I will be getting on a phone interview with Katie and Alana to pick their brains a little bit more about the art licensing industry. So if you have any lingering questions that I did not answer in this video, leave them down below because I will have some experts readily available to answer those questions. I'm very excited for my conversation with them and uh, until then, I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye! <laughs>